You fools thought I was probably done with those elite trainer boxes. You're wrong. There was one more for me to get. The Battle Styles Tr Elite Trainer Box. Which I believe this guy's Urshifu. Is that his name? Is that it on here? Yeah, Urshifu. These battle boxes, or these elite trainer boxes, I've noticed, seem like they have a good value. I think this was $40. You get a ton of energy cards, which... Energy cards are nothing too special, but... You get a ton of energy cards, you get a player's guide, you get a lot of stuff. Speaking of... Oh my god, I never realized there was art on the inside of this. Look at this. I can't pick my camera up to move it. I'm sorry. But look at this. My camera's not going to focus on the art. That's neat. I'm going to have to figure out how to open that without damaging the art. Never knew that was a thing. Anyway, player's guide, don't need it. Box lid. Pretty slick looking. I like Urshifu. He's pretty cool. side. Remove our cardboard insert, which doesn't have cool art on the inside. What do we got? We have trading card game rules. Nobody reads those. We have a brick of energy cards. Nobody needs those. We have our box dividers, which I do use actually. We have our trainer box code. We have our card sleeves. These are nice little card sleeves. I like this. That's pretty cool, actually. We have our tokens. Status tokens, I believe, is what these are. We have our dice. No need to open these up. They're dice. And move this to the side. We have our cards so eight booster packs for battle styles i'm not sure what the valuable cards are in the battle style series or set but i'm hoping we'll get at least one so here we go first pack oh i did not mean to rip it that forcefully my apologies Hey, code's right way up that time. All right, so we're starting off with an Esper. If I recall, Esper is the one where uh, there in one of the when one of the games it says something about Esper being able to like destroy the world or something like that. I don't know, bro. Shinx. Oh, that's a cute Shinx doing a handstand down this head of stairs. That's cute. Blip bug. I got nothing. Ponyard. This guy's pretty cool. I like Ponyard. Ooh, a Mankey. The original Pig Monkey Pokemon. A Reverse Hollow Spoink. If it stops bouncing... Wait, it says it right here. It bounces around on its tail to keep its heart pumping. If it were to stop bouncing, it would die. A Salazzle. Isn't Salazzle the one that, like, everybody's, like... Yo, the scent from a Salazzle will make you shoot cum out of your dick hole or something? I don't know, bro. Just ignore me. Energy. Oh, a Weeping Bell. It's it's a Flycatcher Pokemon, but it's actually more of a Pitcher Plant, I believe it is. EXP Share? Oh, I didn't know this was an actual card in the game. That's pretty cool. Pure Ugly. That's my nickname. Pure Ugly. All right. Next. I acknowledge that the Pokemon's name is Pur Ugly, but it's much more fun to call him Pure Ugly. There's our code. Galarian Mr. Mime. I like Mr. Mime. He's a pretty cool... He shouldn't be a dancing Pokemon. He should be a clown Pokemon, obviously, but maybe the Galarian version is a dancing Pokemon. 
A scatterbug. A yamper? Well, that's just fucking adorable. It's a it's an actual puppy Pokemon. Like, that's that's a puppy. It's 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 just a fucking it's a corgi. That's what it is. It's a corgi. That's super cute. A lick a tongue. Hammer in your tongue, baby. Oh, is that a Yarny Zubat? Look at that. That's super cool. I like that art a lot, actually. A reverse hollow victory bell. Nope, this is the pitcher plant. That's right. I guess technically weeping bell is a pitcher plant as well, but yeah, it's a pitcher plant. A Marowak. My favorite bone Pokemon. I like Marrow. I prefer Marowak over Cubone. That's just personal preference. Energy. A Grumpig. That is some seriously stylized art. Look at that shit. That's pretty neat. A Luxio. Rapid Strike, if that means anything. And a Spupa. Does he spew? If you're gonna spew, spew in the cup. Ooh, is that a timber I see? Right on the front? There's our code. Timber. Galarian Slowpoke! Because Galarian Slowpoke eat the seeds of a plant that grows only in Galar, their tails have developed a spicy flavor. People still eat Slowpoke tails? I thought that was like illegal or something. Corfish. I mean, I know they were selling them in, in in Gen 2, but you shouldn't be eating Pokemon tails. If they grow back, I could see it, but no. Uh, Salandit. A Roly Coley. That's a pretty cool name. Well, I shouldn't say cool. That's a pretty clever name, considering it's a lump of coal. It's even a coal Pokemon. I get it. Ooh, a reverse hollow yamper! <gasps> that is so fucking cute. I might have to put him up there next to Teddy Ursa, actually. I'm gonna have to think about it. A Drampa. Didn't I get a Drampa V? In one of my other runs? I could have sworn it. I got a fancy Drampa. I know I did. An energy. A guy named Mustard. Why would you name your son Mustard? Or child, I guess. More Pekko? Is this just a dark Pikachu? It's two-sided. And a Seedra. Oh, that's it. I... I, I don't understand Seedra either. It's obviously a seahorse, so why is it a dragon Pokemon? Come on. You don't like fucking seahorses? Fucking love seahorses. <laughs> is that another timber? Is he gonna pound me? Is that another corefish? Oh, okay. The first two were the same as that last pack. This one's not. It has a move just called Zzzt. Is that legit? Is it just a move called Zzzt? Just Zzzt. Mile. Single strike. That's a pretty cool art actually. I don't think I've seen Art of Mall Isle using its little head fella to attack before. That's pretty neat. It makes sense though. I don't know why he wouldn't spoink. Poor little guy. If he ever stops bouncing he's gonna die. Uh, reverse Hollow Pachirisu. That's different art than I've seen before. That's a pretty cute card too. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, a holographic bronzong. So I'm not even going to ask. I'm going to feel like an idiot if I ask that question, so you're never going to know what it was going to be. Oh wait, I didn't get the code. My bad. I knew I forgot something. So that's cool. That's neat. I like Bronzong. Energy. Heat more. It is an anteater. Of course it's an anteater. Why wouldn't it be an anteater? Firo. It's a Fearless a pretty good bird Pokemon. Not my favorite, but he's pretty good. 
Ooh, an actual escape rope. Neat. Alright, we have four more. We're doing this one. Yo, is that another core fish? Yo! There's the code. Corefish. Salad it. Salad it. Salad it. Salad. Another roly coly. Yo. Another Esper. I like Esper. Esper is a pretty cool Pokemon. Oh, another Shinx doing a handstand. Oh, he's so cute. Karina's Focus Hot or Reverse Hollow. That's a pretty neat looking card. I just, I like this style on the reverse holo, the Pokeballs, the tr the well, it'd be as the trainer card reverse holos. They, they look really neat to me. Stonjourno. Bonjourno. Energy. Another mustard. Poor guy. More Peko. And a dull blade. I get it, it's, it's dull blade. Could like double blade. Don't look at me like that, Shrek. I can and will end you. That's what I thought. A horsey! Hey, that works, because I got the, uh... I can't remember its name. Kingdra? Man. I'm not good with this whole memory thing. Horsey! Cherubi. I like Cherubi. It's a pretty cute cherry Pokemon. I'm sure I've said that before. Another lick of tongue. Gonna slam that hammer tongue. Oh, that's a pretty cool art Electabuzz. Look at that. That's really cool. It reminds me of a... Uh, it almost reminds me of a scene from One Piece of Luffy powering up, actually. That's what it reminds me of. Another Esper. I'm alright with that. I like Esper. A reverse hollow escape robe. That's pretty neat. Empoleon V. I'm a little too tired to really get too energetic about this, but... I did it. I did it, boys. I don't know if it's worth much. But if I get a V, it's going in a case. Sorry. I dropped my camera. I brought my hand back and ran right into it. My apologies. Anyway, as I was saying, it gets not one case. Well, not even a case, it gets a sleeve. Two sleeves. And for the time being, it gets a top loader that's covered in dog hair. Doesn't bother me, because it's not inside of it. So you're going back there, Mr. Empoleon. Alright. The rest of the cards in the pack. Energy. Urn of Vitality. Neat. A Spupa. He's gonna spew. A Gliscor. Oh, that's a different art Gliscor than what I've had previously, too. That's pretty cool art, too. Fang Scorpion, but it... I guess. I mean, I thought it, I thought it was a bat, personally. Alright. Two more packs. Let's -a go. A blip bug right off the bat, huh? There's our card. Our code, not card. So, blip bug. Pawn eared. Another, I, again, I like this guy. He's pretty cool in his own rights. A Mankey. A Sizzlipede. That's, I've pulled a Sizzlipede before and it was different art than this. I always like seeing different kinds of art on these guys. Same thing with this here Baltoy. This one only has self-destruct? Yo, that's a shit. Ah, I don't like that. Oh, come on. I'm gonna fucking come. Bronze or reverse hollow? Uh, didn't I get a reverse hollow bronze? No, I got a holographic bronze on. 
I think. I don't remember. I'd have to go back and look. Yo! Oh! Sorry. My, uh, my penis stripped through my pants there. My apologies. I got a little too excited. A Vic Teeny V. Well, that's pretty good next to that there Empoleon V. This is a full art, too, I think. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken. I could very easily be mistaken. I still haven't quite figured out how these card art things work. But if you compare it to that Empoleon, which is not full art, and you compare and you look at this guy, which is just about completely full art, I would have to argue that this one is indeed a full art Victini V. Fuck, dude. That's pretty alright. That's pretty good. That's... That's pretty good. But I still got one more pack. Cheryl. Cherries berries. Rapid strike energy. And a Phoebe. <laughs> Cherries berries. Still got one more. Alright, let's go for a big finish here. We got two good ones out of that. Let's go for two more. Well, I guess one more because this is my last pack. You know what I mean? Alright, code. Alright. Gligar. See, that's another kind of... That's, I've seen three different Gligar arts so far. This is the third different one that I've seen. I like that. That's really cool. That gives it, it gives you another a bigger incentive to collect cards. Because there's, it's not just one card. You get multiple different kinds of art for the same card. That's neat. Just like the Select a Buzz art. Huh. Bell Sprout. Pretty cute flower Pokemon. Not my favorite. I'd have to say Gloom is actually my favorite flower Pokemon, even though he's technically not a flower, but you know. Bronzor, a Murkrow, a Reverse Hollow Salandit. That's pretty cool. Electivire. Electivire is pretty cool. I personally he evolves from Electabuzz. I thought Electabuzz was great as a final evolution, and then they had to go and introduce Electivire. It just kind of muddies up the look with this extra hair and whatnot. I don't know. That's that's for a different time. That's a different conversation to be had. Energy card. Scroll of Scorn. Ooh, a Bruxish. I like Bruxish because it's got big ass lips like it's going to come in and give you a big smooch right on the mouth. But then it's got the sharp teeth behind it, so you know it's just going to bite your tongue off if you try to deep throat. Deep throat. Tongue? Stick your tongue deep? You know what I mean. A Boofalant. It's a Buffalo Pokemon. Neat. Napoleon V. And my happy boy, Victini V. I'm assuming full art. This is number 144 of 63. This is 40 of 163. Uh, dog hair all over the cases. Uh, my shot is ruined. 